In your capital connection tonight, advocates are calling on the state to do more to help those on Medicaid access parental services. It comes after a state report found that many of the prenatal providers covered by Medicaid aren't offering the services they say they are. Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander live in the Digital Center with the tales on this. And Tyler, what's going on here? Well, Eric, Heather, in Virginia, most people on Medicaid receive Medicaid services through what's called a managed care organization. They're insurance companies that the state pays to help cover medical expenses for low-income Virginians. However, a recent report found that people covered by those managed care organizations are having a hard time accessing prenatal care. Tonight, a study commissioned by Virginia's Department of Medical Assistance Services shows major holes in Virginia's Medicaid system. After how many calls, rejections, or disconnect, disconnected phone calls does someone decide to see if a medical concern just goes away on its own? Or they think to themselves, maybe a costly visit to the emergency department is my only option. The study utilized so-called secret shoppers to determine if expecting mothers were getting the prenatal care they're supposed to. Shoppers would call providers listed by managed care organizations as providing prenatal services. What they found is that prospective patients couldn't get an appointment at these locations 95% of the time. It sickens me to think what it must feel like being pregnant, dealing with the anxiety, anxieties that come along with pregnancy, getting a referral to a place that should provide care only to be faced with multiple obstacles. The report cites several reasons for the lack of appointments, including that providers were unable to be reached, didn't offer prenatal services, or were not accepting new patients and more. As for those who did get an appointment? The average wait times for the first, second, and third trimester appointments were 14, 13, and 17 calendar days, respectively. Imagine having to wait 17 days for a third trimester appointment. And now in a statement, a lobbying group for managed care organizations told us that the survey doesn't reflect the experience of most Medicaid members due to serve the survey's limitations. Live in the Digital Center, Tyler Englander, 8 News.